Hello friend, welcome to Marine Engineering Hub. This is your narrator Ravi Gupta. Today we're going to talk about main engine ME series hydraulic cylinder unit. This hydraulic cylinder unit main function is to actuate the injection fuel injection and to open and close the exhaust valve. For that, the hydraulic cylinder unit consists of fuel oil pressure booster, exhaust valve actuator, and FIVA valve, which control and send the signal, and distribution block, which distribute the oil, and the cylinder lubricator for cylinder lubrication purpose. So, let's see which part is the hydraulic cylinder unit so this one is the hydraulic cylinder unit mainly consisting of what i have told you booster pump fuel oil exhaust oil actuator distribution ball block and fiba valve so basically what is happening here is that as you can see in this slide the modification which we have done in ME engine series in earlier S50 MC series fuel pump was provided for individual cylinder unit which is been replaced with the SCU fuel oil booster unit basically consisting of an hydraulic actuator and where the fuel oil is fed through this suction valve onto the top of the plunger and after that it is been pushed and pressure is been built up by the servo oil to a fuel injection valve opening pressure and it went to a fuel oil high pressure pipe high pressure pipe to the fuel injection valve so the plunger and barrel movement mechanism is still there but the actuation is been replaced from cam to the hydraulic actuator okay and this unit is called fuel booster unit as you can see in this thing fuel oil pressure booster unit which is responsible for fuel injection now let's see exhaust valve accumulator <coughs> so basically what is happening here also the camshaft and roller arrangement is been replaced with a hydraulic actuator which is also controlled by fiba valve this fiba valve get the signal from the ccu through a channel 17 and ccu get the signal from ecu basically what is happening the servo oil is moving the hydraulic actuator unit and pressurizing the oil the oil here also is getting collected on the top from the lube oil system which is been pressurized by the servo oil and it is been fed for the hydraulic actuation through hydraulic push rod to the hydraulic actuator there is also modification in the exhaust valve design which I have covered in a separate difference between the MC and ME engine exhaust valve series you can watch that now as you can see this is the distribution block okay this is the double wall pipe as you know the oil is traveling the servo oil is traveling at a pressure of 200 bar so the pipe is double wall and should have a strength so that it can prevent the rupture in extreme operation also now this is a line diagram basically showing how a fuel injection and exhaust valve actuation is been carried out by FIBA valve this FIBA valve is carrying out the fuel actuation and exhaust valve actuation by the signal which is being received by CCU. Basically, what is happening? This is the distribute. This is the direction control 
valve which is controlling the lube oil flow of a servo oil for pushing up the hydraulic actuator and building up the pressure for actuating the exhaust work and same here this is the oil servo oil which is going for actuating the fueler injection unit this timing is been decided by the FIBA valve same here also now let's see this is a diagram showing the valve position during normal operation as you can see the 405 valve is closed 406 is closed 420 is open 421 close 430 is open 431 is closed and 560 is open so basically this is important why that when we are going to do the maintenance we should know what valve is open in normal operation and what to be closed when we are doing the maintenance now the same thing is been embarked on the unit that like 406 421 so that it doesn't get erased with the time and instruction plate is also provided which valve is, should not be closed during operation now this is the FIBA valve I will not explain the FIBA valve otherwise the video will be long FIBA valve I have explained in a separate video please go and watch that now see here this is a new graph showing that how FIBA valve is controlling the actuation as you can see the injection is happening on the zero degree of the crank angle and at 20 degree the injection end so the at this point the hydraulic actuator is been pushed activated and here the hydraulic actuator of the fuel booster unit is terminated after that at 110 degree the exhaust valve open by the exhaust valve actuator and at 270 degree the exhaust valve close so this is the approx timing of the event carried out by the FIBA valve okay now this is just an example but basically it gives us your idea that how the FIBA valve is controlling the hydraulic actuation of the exhaust valve and field injection now in this diagram as you can see that this is the servo oil now this when the ampere is 5 to 11 at that time the valve actuation is carrying place for exhaust valve when the ampere is 20 ampere the fuel injection signal is going for fuel injection so this is how the current command is been varied in the pilot spool position and by that the FIBA valve get an indication where the oil should be sent basically what is happening by varying the current signal this push rod movement is been varied and accordingly the fuel port where the servo oil will go for hydraulic actuation is been decided okay so friend i hope you got a clear idea that how the FIVA valve pull position will work during the different scenario and i hope you got a clear idea that how hydraulic cylinder unit is getting activated and getting fuel injection is taking place and hydraulic actuation of the exhaust oil is taking place so if you have any doubt please do comment below i will revert back and please do like and subscribe my video and please friend have a good day and be safe in your home